Yo, what's going on YouTube, it's I and Steph, and you guys, TikTokers really can't stop screwing up. First, we had the cheating scandal between Lil Huddy and Charlie D'Amelio, then we had the beef and the legal issues between Daisy Keys and Thomas Petroleum, and now Nessa Barrett, Parrot, whatever her face is, is cancelled after uploading an offensive TikTok. What is going on? I don't know if it's just because everyone's been on quarantine, but these TikTokers really got to get their shit together. So for those who don't know who Nessa Barrett is, she's a TikToker and girlfriend of Josh Richard, the guy who made the diss track on Lil Huddy's small baby carrot. And just a few days ago, Nessa uploaded a TikTok where she throws it back to the Quran. And for those who don't know what the Quran is, well, you should. But apparently a lot of people don't know what it is. And this may be a shocker for some basic white girls on TikTok, but no, Christianity is not the only religion. So the Quran is a collection of sacred texts in the Islamic religion. And for those who don't practice this religion, you can kind of think of it as like the Bible for Christians. And with that being said, for those who are Muslim, take the Quran very seriously, and it does mean a lot in their life. So I'm gonna play the TikTok that Nessa uploaded, but for those who might be offended by seeing this, I'm gonna put a time frame right here, so feel free to skip to that part of the video in case you think you may be offended by watching this. <laughs> Oh my, like, where do I even start? Just the amount of disrespect, it's incredible. As you can clearly see, there is reason for many people to be upset with Nessa right now. I think the two things which made this TikTok especially bad are the fact that her and her friend are laughing while they're doing this, but also the caption itself, which says, my fave sound. Really? All right. Are you serious? Like that just makes it even worse because it clearly shows that she knew what she was doing. So Nessa's response to this whole situation and all the backlash, honestly, it just dug herself a deeper grave. I was going on my free page and I saw a video of um, an old guy singing something and I didn't understand what he was saying. So she claimed that she didn't understand what the guy on TikTok was saying. You know, like I understand that, you know, she might not speak Arabic. So I do get that, but you don't need to speak Arabic to look at all the other hundreds and hundreds of videos that people made, the, the duets that people made with this guy. And you can see different heart emojis and stuff and they're not laughing. They're not showing their peaches on video like how she did. And you don't need to know the language, but you can clearly see that by, you know, throwing it back to this audio, it's extremely inappropriate. And also there's no beat to it. It's not like that one song, Savage, which everyone's been, you know, throwing it back to. Sassy, moody, hey, nasty, hey, yeah. So I really just don't get the logic behind making the TikTok to begin with. Um, my step siblings, like my stepmom is from Egypt and all that stuff. <laughs> Oh, okay, so now you're gonna play that card. For all of you guys saying that I'm racist because I'm just white, I'm actually half Spanish. Looking ass. <laughs> I think I'm sorry. What? What the f Is this a joke? Did, did I hear that right? You think you're sorry? What kind of half ass wannabe apology is that? I'm sorry. What do you mean? think you're sorry. And you can tell this apology isn't genuine at all, judging by the fact that she's not making any facial expressions, which, you know, express feelings of guilt or remorse. The fact that she isn't crying and also just the tone of her voice. It just doesn't sound sorry at all. And you know what's sad is that Nessa posted a TikTok last year with the caption, I'm Muslim and I oop. Jesus, 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 I love to What? First of all, how are you gonna be claiming you're Muslim but then be singing and dancing to a Christian song? And secondly, if you truly are Muslim, then why would you think in your right mind that this, you know, this TikTok in general would have been okay to make? Like, what? So when Nessa uploaded this TikTok, she immediately got backlash, but instead of deleting it, she turned off the comments. Now she did eventually delete the video, but the fact that she turned off the comments before deleting the video shows that she knows what she did was wrong, but she still kept it up because she still wanted the views. So shortly after the incident occurred, Josh Richards and Bryce Hall went out to TikTok Live where they discussed the situation. I'm, I'm gonna be honest, on that like, personally, I had no idea what it was either when I first saw the video. I didn't know that was the Quran, or however you pronounce it. Dude, that's because fucked I, up. No, you, you don't know how to pronounce it. Yes. 
Dang, dude. I, I feel bad, though. I guess I should have. You should just know religions, dude. I guess. Okay, honestly, though, big ups to Bryce Hall. I think he's the only one who's actually handling this situation seriously, you know, because it is. And after what Bryce said to Josh, you know, I kind of do have a little bit more respect towards him. So the reason that I made this video is because that I feel as a non-Muslim, it is important to let you guys know, those who are in the Muslim community, that you are not alone. Now, I don't necessarily follow the same set of beliefs as you, but regardless, I still respect you. And I personally do have a lot of Muslim... Oh. All right, sorry my camera died there personally i have a lot of muslim friends who are strong believers and with that being said i am angry for you i am angry with what nessa did because i understand so i know that the quran is not necessarily about inflicting pain or revenge on others so i believe you know the best thing that nessa can do from here is take a few days take a week however much time she needs you know take some time to learn about the quran a little bit the beliefs that muslims share and practice i feel like this it's not going to make up for all the pain that was caused it's not going to make up for the fact that millions of people were offended but I believe that this is a step forward. Yeah, so I know that this video is a little darker and deeper than most of my videos, but I feel that as an influencer, sometimes these types of videos are important for me to make. Although I make a lot of jokes and roasts on my channels, at the end of the day, I do want to make a difference in the world and I do want to promote equality. So for those who are new here on my channel, if you can leave a like on this video and subscribe if you haven't already, it really would mean a lot. On my channel, I cover drama and tea on a lot of famous YouTubers and TikTokers. Also, make sure to follow me on my social media. My Instagram is Ivan Steph Official. My TikTok is Ivan Steph official. My Twitter is Ivan Steph and my Snapchat is shock underscore you zero nine. Also, I want to know what your opinion on this whole situation is. If you were impacted this, I, I want to know why I want you guys to, you know, express your feelings in the comment section down below. I'm going to be reading through them all. I'm going to be hard in comments, replying to a lot. So leave it down below. Anyway, guys, until next time, it's been Ivan Steph. Peace.